What's going on everybody? My name's Nick and welcome to your morning manna. This week we're looking at the seven I am statements that Jesus made and yesterday we talked about the significance of the name I am and where that was first mentioned in the book of Exodus. But today we're gonna jump into the first I am statement that John records in his gospel. Here it is, we're gonna look at John chapter six, verse 35. Let's start there. It says, Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. There it is. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. So Jesus, he, here he's comparing himself to bread. But why would he do that? You know, it's interesting. Before any of this happened, earlier in the chapter, Jesus performed a miracle and he fed over 5,000 people using only two fish and five loaves of bread. But after that, him and his disciples, they traveled across the lake to a different town. But don't you know the people who were on the shore, they followed them on the shore all the way there. Why do you think? Probably because they were hungry. They just got some free food. They're looking for some more free food. They were only thinking of their physical, their temporal, need for food. Now Jesus, he knew what they were looking for, but what he offered them was so much better. So when Jesus says, I am the bread of life, he's revealing truth about his identity, about his purpose, and our common problem. Here's three takeaways. The first is this, Jesus elevates our spiritual hunger above our physical hunger. Instead of meeting the demands of the people by giving them more bread. Jesus uses this opportunity to show them an even greater need that they have. In fact, later on in verse 49, this is what it says. Jesus told them, he said, your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness and they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat of it and not die. The second thing that we learn is that Jesus identifies himself as the only thing that will satisfy our spiritual hunger. Now, we all know that food is essential to live. I mean, especially these people who were really hungry. So Jesus uses this analogy of, of bread to help us understand how vital he is in our lives. Just like we can't live without food, there's no life apart from Jesus. In fact, he continues in Verse 51, he says, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. The third thing that we learn about this I am statement is that Jesus alludes to his sacrificial purpose on earth. In fact, the, the second part of that verse right there says, and the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. Just like physical bread, must be broken in order to eat it and be digested by our body for nourishment in the same way Jesus' body would need to be broken. And it would be broken on the cross and this is how Jesus is able to offer himself to us as the bread of life. Jesus is all we need. He sustains us, he satisfies our soul, he sacrificed himself for us so that we can have eternal life with him. I hope this encourages you today. Join us tomorrow as we dive into the second I am statement from Jesus.